shall now begin our program with a procession. Ladies and gentlemen, the members of the Great Six And now, let us all rise to welcome the class of 2022, 6A, St. Jose Sanchez de Rio, 6B, St. Bernadette of Lourdes, 6C, St. Paul de Rio, and 6D, St. Margaret de Rio, to be led by their class of artists. remain standing for the Philippine National Anthem. Ilagay ang kanang kamay sa kanilang hindi at sabay-sabay nating awin ang lupang Catholics, we invite you to make the sign of the cross 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We thank you, Lord, for all the grade 6 students present here at Savior School in the Valley, Batch 2022. We rejoice with them as they successfully end their grade school years. We are also thankful for everyone who helped them achieve their goals. Their parents, family, friends, teachers, administrators, and all school personnel. Lord, we recognize that the past two years have brought many challenges to school life due to the pandemic. School suddenly changed to online education and we all need to adapt. Thank you, Lord, for helping all our students to overcome these challenges by granting them inner strength, faith, and perseverance. Facing these challenges only made them better Saviorians, transformed by the love of their families and the Savior School Valley community. Today, as one community, we celebrate the fruits of their efforts and your guiding care. As they end grade 6, move on to junior high school we pray that they will continue to benefit from their academic learnings the friendships they have developed and the character that they have built along the way mold them into young persons ready to love and serve their families and the less fortunate grant them the passion to take bold actions for your greater glory Make them faithful to all the values they learned in grade school. May they continue to appreciate all the people who accompanied them along their journey of growth. Once again, thank you, Lord, for all Savior Novali grade 6 graduates, batch 2022. Thank you for giving them one unforgettable journey and loving family members along the way. We pray that they will continue to grow, which at looks all for God's greater glory. St. Francis Xavier, pray for us. St. Ignatius of Loyola, pray for us. Jesus, light of the world, let your light shine. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Mrs. Maricel Fong of the English Department, and on behalf of the Savior Community, welcome you to the 2022 Grade School Presentation and Closing Ceremonies. Anna Isabel Drew of 6B St. Bernadette of Lourdes will now deliver the welcome address. Father, Father Aristotle D, our school president. Mrs. Arling Chu, our school principal. Mr. Frederick Perez, our assistant principal for academics. Mrs. Elisa Magtibay, our assistant principal for formation. Dr. Christina De Leon Hinlo, our guest speaker. Our school administrators, parents, fellow batchmates and Saverians, Nin Hao, Magandang Umaga, and warm greetings to you all. Going up a staircase or climbing upstairs is somewhat a struggle, especially when we are going up a long one. Our grade school life is something that I would say is very similar to going up a long staircase. Some of you may be thinking, how can grade school life be similar to going up a staircase? Du xiao xia, son mo hui gun, pa lo ti, cha bu duo na. Well, the first few steps are simple. Just like our first few years, 
in Savior School, New Valley, from kindergarten to grade two. Those were the simple times when we were just getting started and everything around us was new. We were able to explore interesting things, make new friends, get to know each other, and have fun. As we accomplish more steps, it gets harder and harder because of how exhausted we are. When we reach halfway, we feel kind of relieved to know that we successfully accomplished going through half of the long staircase, making us more motivated to continue. The steps we take halfway through a staircase is what I would call our journey during grades three and four. Things get more challenging, complicated, and serious. That's just how life is. As we get older, things get harder, but at least we still have fun. The last few steps are the hardest because our bodies are even more exhausted and worn out from going up the stairs. Just like the last few steps of a staircase, grade five was a bit tough, especially at the beginning. It was like starting all over again. We had, we had to learn all these new unfamiliar apps like Schoology, Google applications, etc. We still managed to pull through because of our perseverance. In the last few months of grade five, the pandemic was soon calming down. Many hoped that we would be face to face, but that sadly did not happen. Another year online, but this time it was different. This time we were the graduating batch. Despite the challenges and stress in grade six, we were still able to enjoy it. And finally, we were able to reach the last step and proudly say, we did it, kinaya natin. This ceremony is a celebration of us finally reaching the end of the staircase and starting our journey on a new and unknown floor that is high school. We have spent the last six years of our lives journeying through grade school. And so this ceremony is more meaningful because this is, this is the same year that XSN is celebrating its 10th year anniversary. This is the end of the long staircase that we've been climbing up for years. Today is a celebration of all the hard work, efforts, and accomplishments of the students, teachers, and everyone in the Savior School New Valley community who have helped us in our journey to get here. We are entering an unknown floor, which means new challenges would come. But together with our friends, families, and teachers, I am positive that we would be able to successfully overcome them all and do our best in the spirit of magic. So, on behalf of the 100 students who have accomplished the tasks given by Savior School New Valley, welcome to the closing ceremony of Savior School New Valley, class of 2022. Sia Sia Dajia. Mrs. Sarlene T. Chu, our school principal, will now present the class of 2022. Father Aristotle D., Savior School President, on behalf of the faculty and staff of Savior School New Valley, I have the honor to present to you the grade six students who have been found worthy of the ideals and standards of Savior School. They now express their desire to affirm their pledge of loyalty to those ideals and to live up to the expectations of Savior School. Father D, 
may I present to you the class of 2022. Graduates, please rise. Let us congratulate Xavier Grade School's class of 2022. Please be seated. Nathan Cedric Seth of 6C St. Paul Nikki will now introduce our guest speaker. Reverend Father Aristotle D, our school president, Mrs. Arlene Chu, our school principal, Mr. Frederick Perez and Mrs. Elisa Magtibay, our assistant principals, school administrators, parents, and fellow batchmates. Good morning. This morning, we have the privilege of listening to some words of inspiration from the esteemed Dr. Christina De Leon Hinlo. Most of our parents may know Dr. De Leon Hinlo as a licensed physical and occupational therapist and the founder of Therapy Works Incorporated, which offers specialized therapy services to children. Others may know her as being a lecturer in various workshops on children's development. We students know Dr. De Leon Hinlo as the doting mom of our batchmate, Mateo. Perhaps less known to many are her numerous other achievements. I'll share three today. She obtained her degree in occupational therapy from the University of the Philippines, Manila. But did you know that she is in Ignatian? She complemented her practice by obtaining a master's degree in business administration in health at the Ateneo Graduate School of Business in 2006. She was awarded by the Professional Regulation Commission in 2007 as an outstanding professional for the field of occupational therapy. As a fellow Ignatian, I can tell you that requires plenty of hard work and grit. It is quite the achievement. Dr. De Leon Hinlo is a philanthropist. She extends her service to the indigent Filipino children as a founding member of the therapy movement and by organizing various programs such as Therafree, Libring Therapy para sa Filipino. It is no surprise that she received the Conchita Abba Award for extension service in 2008 by the Occupational Therapy Association of the Philippines. She is truly a person for others. For her expertise, Dr. De Leon Hinlo has organized numerous workshops on early childhood in Singapore, Hong Kong, and the Netherlands. But did you know that she is still a lifelong student and learner too? She continues to improve her craft not only through the various organizations she is affiliated with, but by sharing her expertise as a lecturer that is heard around the country. Saviorians, it is my great honor to welcome Dr. Christina De Leon Hinlo. Let us give her a round of applause. Thank you so much for that nice introduction, Nathan. Pero correction po, di po ako doktor. <laughs> Nagdo-doktor-doktoran lang po. <laughs> Good morning, Father Ari, Mrs. Chu, Mr. Perez, Mrs. Magdibay. Good morning to all our administrators, our parents, and most especially, a very great morning to our grade six graduating students. Thank you for this privilege to talk on behalf of the parents. We are so happy and proud to be here with you today celebrating this major milestone. It only seems like yesterday when we used to drop you off in school and you were like this small. Now, look at all of you. We are so proud of you. You made it this far after such a challenging and grueling two years brought on by the pandemic 
and you were able to overcome and adapt to what life threw at you. You, all of you, are a success for making it to this point. But success, you might think, is a one-man effort. After all, you put in all the hard work. You sweated your blood and your sweat to submit all your requirements to pass all your subjects. Am I right? I can't hear you. Am I right? Yes. But for every one of you successful students here, there was a hard, hard-working team of people, your teachers and your parents, who made sure you would reach your full potential. Your teachers spent long hours preparing your lessons to make it interesting and engaging. Shout out to Mr. Ong, right? Who made social studies so unbelievably interesting. Your parents or guardians who may have stayed late at work or who may have stayed home putting their own jobs on hold so that you can do what needs to be done. So while it is you we are celebrating today, let's be humble enough and grateful to those around us who helped get us here. Students, let's please give our teachers and our parents a big round of applause. Congratulations to you students, but congratulations to us also, right? <laughs> Now, aside from being humble, grateful, hardworking, and believing in yourselves, what else do you think you need to become president of the Philippines? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But hey, right? Wouldn't it be great to serve in that capacity one day? Who knows? But for now, let's settle on what it takes to be a good, and happy human being. Let's talk about compassion, integrity, and courage. First is being compassionate. You know, it's the feeling we get when we see another person suffering and we're motivated to help that person. Being compassionate means slowing down, putting down that gadget, noticing what's going on around us, listening, understanding and caring enough to do something. For example, is your friend sad? Did you, know, did you notice your classmate hasn't been having snacks in the last few weeks? Did your teammate have an accident during practice? Did you see the people who lost everything during the last typhoon? How did you feel? What action did you take? Did you offer a listening ear? Did you share a snack? How did you help your teammate? Did you talk to your parents about how you can help the people who lost everything? Having compassion towards others makes this world a kinder and more loving place to live in. Ask yourselves, am I a compassionate person. Next is integrity. Doing what is right, even when no one else is looking, even when the choice is very difficult. For example, you're running for honors, but oops, you were so busy, you didn't study for your test or you forgot. Your seatmate's paper is wide open, what, is your, what are your eyes going to do? Are they going to stay on your own paper? Or are they going to go wandering around? You're walking down a hallway. 
you see a thousand peso bill. Nobody else is there. Do you keep the money knowing you can buy a video game with it? Or do you turn it over to your teacher? People with integrity are like Ugwe. You guys know who Ugwe is? I hope so. If not, I'll feel so old. Ugwe has inner peace. Ask yourselves, do I have integrity? Next is courage. Or be, being brave enough to make good choices when faced with fear or obstacles. You know, these don't have to be big, noticeable actions like the heroes we learned about in school who died, right? Or who were killed. No, it doesn't require that. Courage can be as simple as trying new things, learning something new, riding a bike, a musical instrument, but having the guts to continue even when it's so hard and you failed so many times and your classmates might even be laughing at you. Courage can be admitting your mistakes knowing you will face the consequences. Courage is standing up and doing the right thing even when others might be against you. It's like, you know, when everyone blames an unpopular person in class for doing something wrong, but you know for a fact that that person didn't do it. If you speak up, your friends might get mad at you. What do you think you do in that situation? Ask yourselves, do I have courage? Compassion, integrity, courage are just a few th traits that will make you a better person, contributing to what we hope you become in the future. Men and women for others. I hope that wasn't too hard to digest. <laughs> and I hope you're still all awake. Are you still all awake, guys? Yeah? So silent. They're so silent. We're not on Zoom. We're live, guys. As you continue working hard towards pursuing your hopes and dreams, I hope you keep in mind how to best serve others. Offer everything you do to God. And when things don't go as planned, pray harder. <laughs> yeah, pray harder. But don't take yourselves too seriously. Learn to laugh at yourselves. Believe me, a healthy sense of humor will keep you sane as the challenges mount on as you progress through the years. Okay, can you promise me that? Yes? Okay. All right. Yes, go Jello. Before I end, malapit na, I would like to remind you to enjoy your childhood or your preteen years, as Mateo keeps reminding me. Enjoy your summer break, guys. Go outdoors, do some sports, get some sun, work with your hands. Do something that gives you joy and develops your interests to help you become a well-adjusted and well-rounded person. Lastly, please respect and listen to your parents. Not because I'm a parent too, okay? When we tell you to eat your vegetables, lay off the junk food, do your chores, sleep and exercise. We don't do this for fun. Really, we don't. We do it because we love you and we only want best for you. So once again, 
Congratulations to all of you incoming grade 7 students, and may God bless us all. Thank you. Paula Abigail Mercart, sorry, Paula Abigail Mercado of 60 St. Margaret Clitero will now deliver a message on behalf of Class 2022. To our beloved school president, Reverend Father Aristotle D. Our esteemed school principal, Mrs. Arlene Chu. Our energetic assistant principal for academics, Mr. Frederick Perez. Our hardworking assistant principal for formation, Mrs. Elisa Magtibay. Our guest speaker, Dr. Christina De Leon Hinlo. School administrators, parents, and batchmates, Zhao Shanghao, Magandang Umaga, good morning to each and everyone. We are survivors. In this time of uncertainty, we can claim that we made it as grade schoolers. All our hard work and the sacrifices of our loved ones behind every task we take have finally paid off. As survivors, we're all ready to take the next big step in life beyond grade school. If I were to think of one word to describe this journey, it would be unprecedented. I never encountered this word until COVID-19 came. Unprecedented is defined as never done before or known before. And I'm sure all of you have heard this word countless times in the news and social media over the last year, being normalized into a word that correlates directly with COVID-19 and this pandemic. But this word isn't only true to this pandemic, for it can define us, for we are unprecedented too. We are grade schoolers who have done, sing done something never known before. You see, all of us have had our roller coaster ride, from face to face classes to online distance learning, schoology, Google Classroom, and submissions and deadlines. But we survived for we are unprecedented. All of our crazy roller coaster rides have been extraordinary, never seen before in the history of education. Living in the new normal made us cherish the small yet important aspects in life, like going to school, preparing our meals, taking a bath for school, or simply putting all our books and materials inside our backpack. There were normal activities that I might have taken for granted during our face-to-face -face days in school, like leaving the campus for field trips, which felt freedom to us, eating my favorite mojos and quack quacks in the canteen, playing in the gym with my classmates and friends, and so many trivial activities that we truly miss because with this pandemic, we are locked in our own rooms and continue our studies via online. Amidst the challenges of this pandemic, we are here in this ceremony, face to face, celebrating our small successes and challenges we need to, to face. It is so vivid how I enjoy my service interaction with our great community helpers, like my encounter with Kuya Alexander, a great policeman who tirelessly protects us and works hard for his family. And having small talks with Atta Pamela, our school maintenance staff, who is nice to talk to. These little encounters with real people makes me understand their role and appreciate their presence in our community. One of the scenes that had an impact on how I see my life was in grade three, when we visited Mangumit Elementary School, 
a public school in Canlubang, where I met a student named Precious who likes to draw and her funny and friendly classmates. I observed that despite the limitations of their school in terms of facilities and learning materials, I witnessed how they love to be in school. They have limited means. Others are just wearing slippers. Uniforms are a little too old. And some don't even know what a sanitizer is. But they still manage to enjoy learning. I wish that I can go back to Mangmeet and see my friends there and help them in any way I can. Being concerned and having compassion are values that I need to have, but more importantly, I must do something for them to let them feel that someone cares for them. This leads to being grateful in everything I have and to everyone I meet. Gratitude is the memory of heart, they say. I am grateful to be part of this institution and graduating in Saver School New Valley's 10th anniversary. In behalf of my batch, allow me to thank God for his guidance and protection. To our parents for their unconditional love since the very beginning. To our teachers, for molding not only our minds, but for touching our hearts. To our school administrators, our Jesuit priests, for sharing to us your wisdom and time. And to each and every one of us here, for being there and bringing a smile to each other's faces. Perhaps we are triumphant, for we are always there for each other. As we close our chapter as a grade schooler, this leads me to a question. How can we survive high school? How will we continue to let our light shine or shine even brighter? We have yet to answer and prove our worth in the coming days. Let us make a promise to ourselves, and that is to continue ordinary things extraordinarily or what we Saviorans know as magis. To always put our best foot forward, to always radiate the best version of ourselves. Let's promise to enjoy learning so that we will have fun every moment of our new lives as high school students. Just like the fighters in a wrinkle in time, let us always let our light shine and become stars in any situation we are in. Let us equip ourselves with enthusiasm on what tomorrow will bring us. After all, we are Saviorians, unprecedented, survivors, and stars. Congratulations, Class of 2022, Luciat Lux. And now, the members of the class of 2022 will receive their Savior Pledge from Father Aristotle D., our school president. He will be assisted by Mrs. Arlene Chu, our principal, and Mrs. Mary Beatrice Ang, the grade 6 guidance counselor. The class advisors will now present the members of their respective sections. May we request the audience to reserve their applause after the last name of the student from each section is called. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor to present to you the members of Grade 6A, St. Jose Sanchez del Rio. Samis Julian Margaret Kale. Oh. 
ang Jolyn Angela Ho. Ang Masaki Lee. Bagasala Liana Melea Adolfo. Besa Marcelo Mamerto Lantigan. Brimer Chloe Chan. Sandra Lin Chan De Guzman William Laborada Dal Kim Lowell Noche Dumlao Francesca Fatima Sarmiento Francisco Yuan Nathaniel Andrino Heron Sofia Margaret Zarza Juan Luis Ignacio Mateo Umali Lim Samantha Sydney Tan Lee Matthew Alfred Castillo Marcelo Misha Elise Valle Nuez Mikal Arlo Rivera Oka Grecio Gabriel Guades Oropilia Isabella Diesta Otsubo Takumi Suba Rosales Emmanuel Janos Custo Rosario 
Innocentia III Gomez. Santos Vince Ethan Espiritu. Segun Don Miguel Servito. Simpao Lucas Sebastian Avesilia. Once again, the class of Grade 6A, St. Jose Sanchez del Rio. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor to present to you the members of Grade 6B, St. Bernadette of Lourdes. Bakal Sofia Francine Malaban. Ma Anchi. Baliza Andre Nicolas Tadeus Tamayo. Ma Anchi. Narte Pia Enzo Bautista. Thank you. 
and gentlemen, I have the honor to present to you the members of Grade 6C, St. Paul Mickey. Adon, Brandon Ray de la Cruz. Ang Bangyok, Erika Lim. Alonso Vincent Belisario. Ramon Miguel Lapid La Cambra Alonso Marcos Viado Yes. 
法身。Once again, the class of Grade Six C, Saint Paul Mix. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor to present to you the members of Grade Six D. St. Margaret Clitheroe. Arcelia Enrique Andres Hernandez. Bonende Lorenzo Yen Juan. Chang Amari. Nicole Villarosa. Zona.
Pagya, Stephen, Jaden, Moog. Salamat, Enrico, Miguel, Nawe. Song, Lai Lai. Song, Lai Lai. Talion, Levon, Mendoza. Toreja, Nio, Alejandro, Pendinho. Uy, Daniel, Arian, Chu. Huang, May. Valencia, Vittorio, Benetio, Verata. Huang, May. Wael Vince Yui Kawili. Once again, the class of Grade 60, St. Margaret Clitheroe. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2022. Graduates, please rise and face the school community. Let's give them a round, a warm round of applause. Okay. Graduates, please face front. Please remain standing, graduates. Matthew Alfred Lee of 6A St. Jose Sanchez del Rio will now lead the Savior School Pledge, followed by the acceptance of the pledge by our school president, Father Aristotle D. So kindly place your pledges on your side and get ready to raise your right hand. Fellow Saviorians, please raise your right hand. Together, grateful for my Savior education, I, Matthew Lee, do solemnly pledge to live faithfully according to the ideals of Savior School. I shall value the heritage of my forefathers and fulfill my duties as a responsible Filipino citizen. I pledge to uphold my humanity and the dignity of every person. In the spirit of Magis, I promise to develop my God-given talents and to share them with those most in need. I shall work with others to build a more just, humane, and Christian society. I choose to follow Christ our Lord as my leader and model. It is He, the light of the world, who will make my light shine. May I live as a person for others, one who is fully alive, endowed with a passion for justice and the skills for development. In making the Savior Pledge, I ask only for this, that I find greater meaning in my life and that I make a difference in the lives of others. This I pledge before my school, my family, and my God. On behalf of the faculty, the administration, and the whole Savior community, I accept the pledge that you have made to honor and to live the ideals of Savior School. May the Almighty God give you the wisdom to understand these ideals 
and the courage and generosity to live them out in your lives. I join the entire school administration and the Jesuit community in congratulating all of you, dear graduates, and your families. As Mrs. Hinlow said, I hope you have an enjoyable summer, enjoy the outdoors, work with your hands, and come back renewed and refreshed to start junior school in June. Congratulations again to all of you. The class of 2022, their batch song is our time, words and music by the of the 10th year of Savior School New Valley, a new version of the school song has been commissioned to reflect the dynamic, vibrant, and pioneering spirit of every Saviorian. This new version of the school song will be used for our journey as a community this moment and for the many years ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for our school song, Luci at Lux. Day after day, year after year, you talk. 
closing ceremonies. On behalf of Xavier School New Valley community, we thank you all for coming and sharing with us the joy of this wonderful occasion. The class of 2022 will now have their batch picture taken. So students, please form one line and follow the instructions of your class advisors on the sides. While the parents, you may please be seated while you wait for your children or your child.
Okay, get, we will remove our masks, but do not talk. Just smile and face the photographers. Okay? Totally remove your masks so that it will be nice. 
those. Remove masks now. Everyone. Okay, get ready. Okay, one more formal, no wacky shots yet. Formal, ready. Okay, with class advisors. Okay, ready? Grade 16, please get ready. Please join. Some can go up the stage. the students. So teachers and administrators may now exit the stage. Uh, please don't forget for those who haven't presented their QR codes to Dash Labs to present it or approach the Dash Labs students.
Okay, ready. Masks off. Remove masks. Remove masks. Ready. Formal shot. Hey, ready. One more formal. Waki. Waki shots. Okay, thank you very much. Please follow. Mask on. Follow your teachers. Congratulations, grade 6. Uh, students, kindly go back to your seats. Because you, we will be exiting the gym by class. Careful. So kindly wait for your class to be called. So students and parents of grade 6A may now exit the gym or take photo souvenirs in our photo stations at the back. Uh, grade 6B, 6C, and 6D 